All right, let's take a look at the homework for tutorial 24 part two. So I got you guys to create a hash function for this structure here, and you weren't allowed to modify the structure in any way. Actually, I had you um, basically enable this structure for being used in a uh, unordered map because I told you you have to test it afterwards. So in actuality, you can't just create a hash function. You also have to uh, make a comparator for it. But uh, we'll get into that in a second. Now, when we did the v2, the hashing of the, uh, the v2, what I did was I just took this stuff here, this hash combiner uh, template function, and I just took the guts out of it and used it directly in here. Okay capture software now we're getting into new territory this is this is uh, uncharted no don't <sighs> I hate everything anyways um now nah, I can't remember what I was saying oh yeah so we just took the guts out of that hash combiner function and used it directly in here because we're only combining two values but now since we're combining four values together we really want a uh, separate function so we're not repeating ourselves. so we're just going to copy and paste that hash combine function all it does here is it takes a uh, seed which is a previously hashed or uh, accumulated hashed value and then it takes another value that is to be hashed and combined into the accumulated hash the seed and then you create the hasher for that type and you're gonna hash that type and then do some operations that combine it with the previous seed and this one just passes the seed in by reference so we're modifying it directly it's an in out parameter you could also make it so that the function is a, a true function it returns the new seed and doesn't modify the seed passed in but who who the hell cares right doesn't matter so we use our hash combiner and now we've got to uh, combine these hashes together and it's quite simple let's take a look at how you do that we're going we're going to specialize again the uh, hash template from the standard library because that will make our code a little sexier um, so again you to specialize a template you, you type template you type empty angle braces and then you type the uh, struct and the thing you want to specialize which is hash and then the type you want to specialize it on which is pube and then here you go it's going to take a ref constant reference to a pube and we got to first we got to get a seed so we're going to hash one of the members which we'll, i'll just pick the string doesn't matter which one and then once we've got the seed we're just going to hash combine that with uh we're going to pass in another member and it'll hash it and combine it into the seed and then we'll do that so we'll do that for the vector the v2 we'll do that for the int and we'll do that for the car and after that seed will contain contain the accumulated hash of the four members and we just return that and there you go we've got a hasher for our pube now like i said you you, you also have to be able to compare pubes i don't implement an equals operator here and I told you you're not allowed to modify it. So you're going to have to create an external comparison function or functor. And then you will have to use that with the, uh, with the unordered map. Now you could just create your own uh, custom functor and then pass it in in the uh, template parameters here but again sexiness you could also just uh, specialize the template for equal to uh, which is the default that unordered map uses and then you don't have to pass in shit here so that's what we do we template specialize equal to for pube and equal to is going to take a left hand side and a right hand side and it's going to return a bool and all you got to do is just compare equal equals compare all of the members to each other and all the members they all have um, equals operator implemented so no extra work there you just do equals and them all together and there is your comparison and there you go you've had you've got enough here to enable using unordered map with pube and you don't even have to put in here extra template parameters because as you can see here uh, hasher defaults to using hash of type T and uh, uh, the equals comparison defaults to using equal to of type T, and we've already specialized those in the standard library. So it's... No! Don't delete that part. Delete this. There you go. And there you go. I'm just going to test it on a few values here. I'm going to try to look up one. The, the lookup that I, I made them all kind of similar to each other. They all have similar members, just to show you that even if uh, some members are similar, they will all hash to different values. And the two that I, the one that I'm looking up here 
is very similar to this one. They're exactly the same, except this one ends with 91, this one ends with 92. But we will get the proper value. We're looking up uh, this, which corresponds to this, which should give us the result of never. And if I run it, we do indeed get never. We also get some more bullshit from my capture software, whose guts I hate dearly. And there you go. There is how, in general, you can use uh, hash combining to create hashes for any uh, custom type you want. Now, when you have a data type, often you don't want to hash on all of the members. You just have some uniquely uh, identifiable members that you want to hash on. Maybe, often it's just one. You just hash, maybe it's like a string. It's an either an int that's a unique ID or it's a string that is a unique identifier. Uh, but sometimes you might not have a unique ID or a string and you might have to hash on multiple values to create a uh, unique hash key input. And in that case, you are going to want to use hash combining. And this is how you do it. And this is how you um, specialize templates in the STD namespace.